There's a new ad that has come out from a group of people, a grassroots collective of ad execs, TV writers, and comedians called Creatives for Harris. And they are trying to counteract the image that men don't like Kamala Harris with an ad. This ad was then watermarked by Vote Save America, which is a project of Crooked Media or associated with Crooked Media, which is the Pod Save America bros. This ad apparently has now been removed by Vote Save America. They found it too embarrassing. The, the ad, I think, was directed at men by telling men that they should stop being dudes. That's what this ad really is. So this is what the left wing perceives masculinity to be. I wonder why they're, they're failing among men. This ad is all about men who say they're voting for Kamala Harris, but the real ad is directed at the idea of stereotypical masculinity, which apparently is bad and negative. And the way they're going to show that is by making fun of men. No, nothing says vote for Kamala Harris dudes. Like, dudes, you really shouldn't be dudes and you should drop all of this dudeness. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Meat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to deadlift 500 and braid the out of my daughter's hair. You think I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor? I eat carburetors for breakfast. I ain't afraid of bears. That's what bear hugs are for. And I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. I'm not afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies? I say go for it. They want to use IVF to start a family? I'm not afraid of families. They want to be childless cat ladies? Have all the cats you want. Woman wants to be president? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Because I'm man enough to support women. Man enough to know what kind of donuts I like. Man enough to admit I'm lost, even when I refuse to ask for directions. Man enough to not ban young women from reading Little Women. Or one of those pants books that the sisters like. I'm man enough to raw dog a flight. It sucked. Not worth it. I'm man enough to be emotional in front of my wife. In front of my kids. In front of my horse. I'm man enough to tell you that I cry at Love Actually. Goodwill Hunting. West Side Story. That and Predator. And I'm sick of so-called men domineering, belittling, and controlling women just so they can feel more powerful. That's not how my mama raised me. I love women. I love women who support their families. Women who decide not to have families. Women who take charge. And I'm man enough to help them win. Uh, I don't think any of those men love women. I'm just going to put that out there. I mean, that dude sitting on the back of the pickup truck, that, that, that I don't know, a straight man in the world who sits like that. <laughs> Folks, a lot of people are not liking the anti-male tone of the Kamala Harris campaign, but let's be real, there's a lot not to like about Kamala Harris if she were to get into office. Well, it would be like throwing gas on a dumpster fire that's already visible from space financially. Here's what you can do. Protect your savings by diversifying right now into gold for my friends over at Birch Gold. That's right, for millennia, gold has stood firm in the face of greedy governments, economic upheavals, and global strife, and it can protect you now. Birch Gold will help you convert an IRA or 401k into an IRA in physical gold. And the best news? It doesn't cost you a penny out of pocket. Think about this for a second. In the past four years, while the buying power of the U.S. dollar has been declining faster than CNN's ratings, the price of gold has increased 40 percent. Is that a coincidence? I think not. Here's what you need to do. Text Ben to 989898. You'll get your free info kit on gold and then you can diversify. As the exclusive gold partner of the Daily Wire for the past eight years, you can trust Birch Gold as I do to protect your savings. Don't wait for the election results to start thinking about your financial future. Text Ben to the number 989898 for your free info kit today. Ask all of your questions, get them answered, and then think about investing in gold with my friends at Birch Gold. That's Ben to the number 989898 to get started today. Apparently, according to Fast Company, which is an ad analysis company, they describe the ad. They say the Man Enough campaign kicks off with a cornucopia of traditionally masculine signifiers, a cowboy, a yoked gym rat. Yoked is uh, a little bit much there. A biker and his hog. Each beacon of machismo takes turns talking directly to camera about the testosterific activities that get their motor running, such as consuming raw steak or barrel-proof whiskey. Things take a turn, though, after the gym rat declares himself man enough to deadlift 500 and braid the bleep out of my daughter's hair. Here's where the real message kicks in, that the established stratifications of gender roles in society is a thing of the past and clinging to it is ridiculous. The video then goes a step further, pitching a new model for masculinity where supporting women is the status quo. Sounds amazing. Apparently, this is born when Jacob Reed, a comedic director who has worked with Funny or Die and Jimmy Kimmel Live, no wonder this thing sucks, was watching the DNC. He felt inspired by the way Barack Obama spoke of Michelle when introducing her and the way second gentleman Doug Emhoff gazed up proudly at Kamala Harris during her speech. He also admired the way Tim Walls talked about his wife, Gwen. All of this struck him as a form of masculinity that hasn't been talked about enough in the election cycle. It was to him the polar opposite of the alternative. So apparently, Reed then told the creatives for Harris team, which meets regularly on Slack to brainstorm ideas. 
The message quickly met with a robust gallery of upward thumb smiley faces and double exclamation points. Wow. Some manly stuff right here. Buoyed by the encouragement, Reed tapped into his network of talented filmmakers, actors, and casting directors and put together the video on a shoestring budget. The original version was a bit more scolding. It included lines like, quote, I'm not afraid of a woman having rights because what kind of a creep would I be then? After marinating on the concept a bit further, Reed realized the last thing he wanted to do was condescend to his potential audience, whom he saw as both people already on board the Harris train and people on the fence. He says this is exactly the kind of consideration missing from recent conversations on the left aimed at young men. Rather than despair over young men drifting into the mag zone, Reed wants to see a party-wide effort to weigh, on, weigh in on the masculinity conversation without preaching or demonizing. Okay, if there's anything in that video that appeals to men, I've yet to find it. The entire thing, which is, which is the implication that the reason you oppose Kamala Harris is because you're scared of women or you hate women, and that real masculinity is basically submissiveness to Kamala Harris is pathetic. I can't imagine why so many people are off-put by this. By the way, a lot of minority men, very off put by this. It turns out that traditional notions of masculinity may have gone by the wayside among some white college educated liberal men, but they certainly have not among all the other men in the, in the land, which is one of the reasons why the Harris campaign is really lagging with black men. They don't like being lectured. Just like everybody else, they do not like being lectured. And so now Kamala Harris has to do something she did not want to do. She has to somehow shore up support from black men. According to Politico, Kamala Harris looking at daunting polling that shows she could draw some of the softest support for a Democratic nominee among black men is rolling out new efforts to shore up support with this key voting bloc. So what is she going to do? She's going to engage in outright bribery. I'm not even kidding. Outright bribery. According to Politico, Harris planned several campaign events and policy proposals designed to appeal to black men. She plans to announce three new policy prescriptions, providing one million small business loans that are forgivable up to $20,000. Okay, first of all, these are directed at black men. That's in violation of the Civil Rights Act. It's illegal. She can't just say, here are one million small business loans that we'll just forgive up to 20 grand, but only for black men. Not possible. Violative of the Civil Rights Act and the 14th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States. Equal protection clause. Not allowed. So she is promising to bribe black men with money that will be forgiven. Can't imagine how, how that will lead to fraud, by the way. People are definitely going to take out a loan that is forgivable by the federal government. And then they're and then they're going to pay it back, probably. Also, training and mentorship programs that would help give black men a leg up in jumping into high demand industries and launching an initiative focused on health issues that disproportionately impact black men. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. This, this nailed it. This is it. Just try to bribe them. Just throw more money at them. Democratic Party's been trying this for I don't know half a century or so, and Kamala Harris is still losing large numbers of black men, and she doesn't understand why. Maybe the reason is Barack Obama could at least credibly pretend to be not anti-masculine, right? He had the whole, I'm going to go out and I'm going to shoot hoops thing. I'm a cool guy. I'm going to go shoot some baskets, even if he, even if his outside jumper lags a little bit from his playing days. Kamala Harris, she married, again, Doug Emhoff, who is the least masculine male in the race, and that includes Tim Walls. And now she's out there proclaiming that basically what she wants is submissiveness from men in her orbit. That is not going to do it. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 